see if you like him. I don't know. I don't see a lot of people drinking tonight. Is this even a Christopher Titus crowd, honestly? Yeah. 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 Come on, people. Yeah. Oh, I'm old enough to remember when it was kind of frowned upon to get drunk at the mall. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> it used to be two days in jail plus news coverage. Now it's encouraged. They're like, come on out, have a few drinks. Don't you worry about that playground out front. You just, just come on in. Water form. This is a cool mall, right? It's like a regular mall plus road rage. That's what I like about this place. Fight for my parking, you know? So, it's cool. It's cold out there tonight. I wore a sweater tonight. My wife bought me this sweater as a holiday sweater. I was like, which holiday did you have in mind? I mean, it for a couple, right? Like, I call it my dual purpose sweater. Like, I can put this thing on and carve up a turkey or your nightmares, you know? Whatever. Whatever needs carving. I love it. This is actually the closest thing to a Halloween costume I've had in years. I don't know if you know much this job pays, but I'm not really making costume money, you know? I got a 1999 Honda Civic. Pretty hard to justify spending money on pretend when your car is worried about Y2K. It's a real piece of shit. Has over 390,000 miles on it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, clap for that. I don't know. My parents don't. <laughs> this is the guy that, you don't park too close to the cans on trash day. That's what I was gonna say. to no car. That's what's gonna happen. I was driving it last week, uh, and it started smoking real bad on me. Uh, you know what I did? Nothing. <laughs> I figured the car is 19 years old, right? If it wants to smoke, there's really nothing I can say about it. You know? I put some nicotine patches on the door. I hope for the best, you know? That's how I fix things. Some people use like tools and wrenches, you know? I just, I just hope. I just hope it gets better. This is great. Packed house in here tonight. I don't get this very often. Last Wednesday, I swear to God, last Wednesday I had to do a show at a place called Evansville, South Dakota. Population 89 people. I was like, wow, even if every single person that lives here comes out to the show, that's still a relatively shitty turnout. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. I, I knew it was, uh, it was 89 people because it was actually right on the sign when you entered the town. They were just like, welcome to Evansville, South Dakota. Population 89 people. I was like, how desolate is the state of South Dakota that they're proud of it? They're like, 89, read it, we. <laughs> Beat that. <laughs> Crazy. I started thinking to myself, I was like, how hard do you think they try to maintain that sign, you know? <laughs> Like they have creepy town meetings where it's like, look, Bob ain't looking too good. <laughs> Jesse's on the smack again. <laughs> I'm gonna need two and a one of you. Always sharp hands. This is a treat. I like it here. Thank you, that's how I like applause, just one at a time. <laughs> You know, once you guys get tired, it's a long show. We'll sign up sheet, we'll start with her, we'll get it going around. Yeah, it's her turn, huh? Yeah. You guys are great people. Yeah. Feel safe here? That's important. You don't get that just anywhere, you know? Like a month ago, I had to do a, a show up in uh, Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Not so safe, you know? I don't know if you've been there before, but the rumor is pretty true. <laughs> There's probably nice parts of Detroit, but not where the hell I was. <laughs> At one point, my GPS was like, in .2 miles, stuck there on a tray. <laughs> they had the wrong colors on or something. Even my cigarette was like, I don't think this is safe, you know? <laughs> I was up there to do a show at a place called Wayne County Correctional Institute. <laughs> Why it wasn't in the nice part, you know? 
It's a great show, though. Not just all female prison. Guys, let me tell you this. If you've ever wanted to feel like Justin Bieber for a day, that's where you go. I feel like I smoked in some contraband. It's having balls. Very popular. After the show, a lot of the prisoners came up to me. Uh, they wanted to give me a hug. Because they were allowed, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't really on board, I'll be honest. I was like, I got a pat down first, maybe. I was afraid I said something during the show to offend one of the prisoners. I was going to catch a toothbrush in the neck. And they're like, who funny in the bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone does. Shakes, the real problem in the prison system, I did my research. I watched a lot of Netflix. That's really all you gotta do, honestly. They have so many prison shows on Netflix. Uh, one of these shows, a prisoner got caught hiding a scissor in their rectum. Yes. It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> You're not even supposed to run with scissors. <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> It wasn't even like a pair of scissors, right? It was just one scissor. <laughs> Not like a little scissor, it was an orange handle. <laughs> Big one. I assume the handle was orange though, based on the size of the blade, right? You couldn't see the handle because they showed an x-ray of it inside the guy. But, uh, I like to think there was a handle, you know? <laughs> Because to me, if there's no handle, it kind of makes it less of a weapon and more of like a home defense system, you know? I recently stopped smoking weed. That's how they spelled it. But they corrected me at the college and told me it's pronounced Rio Grande because get this, Rio rhymes with Ohio. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking stupid, you know? Like, <laughs> you gotta know what the letters say. You know? <laughs> There's like rules and shit, you know? Like, like, what are they teaching at this college? It's like, when two vows go a-walking, the first one rhymes with the state you're in. <laughs> That's not going to be a good job, you know? They would offer me, like, an honorary degree to Rio Grande University, or a fresh pack of Juicy Fruit gum. I'd probably go for the Juicy Fruit, I'm going to be honest. I feel like that's going to move me further, you know? <laughs> When I left uh, Rio Grande, I had to drive north to get to the Detroit gig. I drove to a place here in eastern Ohio called uh, Licking County. That's a real place, you guys. <laughs> Probably had a, a meeting one day. They were just like, so what do you guys want to name your new county? And they were just like, he's Licking <laughs> It's a very rural area that I was driving to. I was on the highway, driving through this rural Lincoln County, and I came up on a red light, and I assumed it was probably like the main road through this Lincoln County. And I turned to this red light, and I noticed that to the left, this road was called Lincoln Valley. Which I thought sounded provocative, you know? And we did this on purpose, too, because to the right, this road was called 
Brownsville. Yeah. I know a joke when I see one, you guys. I feel like that's kind of a mean joke, too, because I think their intention was to uh, tank the highway. Someday when I get some money together, I want to go back there and open up a restaurant right where those two rooms meet. I serve nothing but freshly tossed salad. Cheers. <laughs> Speaking of bad restaurants, I went to a Waffle House last night because I haven't had any chips in a while. And that's where you go. This, this is like a real Waffle House, too. Like, even their hand dryers had a little smoker's cough, you know? I was in the bathroom, dried my hands, and I was like. <laughs> Waiting for some slim to shoot out. I was thinking, maybe that's where the soap is. Maybe. I hadn't been to a Waffle House in a long time either, so uh, I asked the waitress, I was like, hey, sweetie, uh, what do you recommend? And she was like, uh, Burger King. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are just a great crowd, I gotta get out of here in a second. Uh, but, let's see, what else is funny? <laughs> it's holidays, uh, Halloween, I had a good Halloween, that was fun. I uh, can't really talk about Halloween after Halloween's over, though. That shit is over the minute Halloween is. There's no, like, actually, sometimes like, if I run out of candy, I'll just be like, take this spider web with you when you go. Just, uh, grab that pumpkin, I think I know. It's yours now. <laughs> this guy really gets me right here. He's gonna sell me weed later. I know, do you guys call it Halloween here? I know some places, like in New Jersey, they call it Cabbage Night. In Detroit, they call it Devil's Night. When I was a kid, I used to call it Mommy's Last Chance. It was like a horror before she gains winter The second Halloween's over, you know what replaces it? Christmas. Immediately now. Like, my, my niece, I should, she, she was in her Halloween costume making out her Christmas list for what she wants. I was like, that's a little sudden, right? And she's getting to the age, right, where she's starting to get suspicious about the whole Santa Claus thing, you know? Uh, last year, we barely got her to believe anymore. She, uh, she started grilling me on this, uh, she's like, so how does this Santa guy Get around to every kid's house in one night. Like, the big question, you know? And I want to keep it going as long as possible. So I was like, well, you know, uh, Sam's a hard worker. Probably Mexican, you know? <laughs> I mean, he sure knows his way around the roof. You know? <laughs> Across international borders, completely undetected. <laughs> I think I can miss her too because uh, instead of milk and cookies, she loves that chips and salsa. So. <laughs> this year we're gonna do Feliz Navidad. That's it for me, folks. <laughs>